Time now for Top That. You know how it goes. There's so much weird stuff going on. We have a panel to tell us the weirdest. And let me just say of tonight's panelists, okay? They are roommates. They were friends in college. They are Emily Jashinsky of the Washington Examiner and Abby Morangiello. She's a DC bureau chief for the New York Post. And to create, you know, prevent any problems, I want to say the winner will win on the basis of the story, not presentation. Okay? Total impartiality. Okay. Gabby, you first. All right. So first we had Rachel Dolezal, yes. the woman who thought she was black even though she was born white. Yes. Now, perhaps unsurprisingly, we have a student, a doctoral student at the University of Arizona who self-identifies as a hippopotamus. The animal? The animal. The sub-Saharan mammal. This is what this person <laughs> identifies as. <laughs> and that's not even the craziest part. The craziest part about this is that the University of Arizona is thrilled to have this student teaching undergraduates about the intersectionality of animal studies and trans studies. So my question is, if I were in a canoe, and this person surfaced next to me, would I be in danger of being killed? I mean, this person, there's obviously something <laughs> not right, so you probably would be in danger of something. Let me just say, I don't think you can win with that because, like, why is that out of bounds? If she says she's a hippopotamus, you know what she is, and you're a bigot to suggest otherwise. Gabby. <laughs> All right. Can you beat that? Yeah, Tucker, I'm going to identify right away as the winner of this competition. <laughs> okay. Um, and I think it's very important to talk about things you're an expert in. I'm from Wisconsin. I'm going to talk about beer. Good. A Brooklyn brewery is offering a craft beer um, called Gender Neutral to celebrate Pride Month. It's a pale ale with a lemon zest. I think that sounds pretty refreshing. Um, but, you know, this is sort of the confluence of a few different things you have of, of hipster liberalism. It's a cornucopia of hipster liberalism. You have Brooklyn, you have craft beer, and, of course, you have the rejection of the gender binary. Very important. It's really just a refreshing way to wash down heteronormativity. So you get to deny basic biology and get drunk at the same time. It's a great combination. What's better on you know, Friday night? Everything I dislike in the whole world summed up in a single 12 ounce can. You win because, again, yours, Gabby, you would win. Everyone's like, oh, how can the hippo story not win? Because there's no way right. that that cannot be allowed. I know. Because, like, what's the argument against it now? This if you are what you say you are, like, okay. <laughs> Hippo lady. Yeah. The year of the underdog. She also felt that she said that she felt sexy as a hippo. So I'm not going to comment on that. That's, that's a bridge too far. Thanks to you both. Thank you. Uh -oh.